This is crazy. Nobody move! A bash to have in Parazon. Aha. Aha, what? This is very poetic. Patterson is directed by Jim Jarmusch and stars Adam Driver. It tells the story of a bus driver who is also a poet, obsessed with waterfalls and twins. Yeah. And I saw this movie at my local indie theater because I didn't know that it was coming out on DVD. And now I know that now. But it was so awesome to see this movie in theaters because it deserves it. And to most audiences, Patterson is not going to be interesting. It's just kind of be going to be like kind of like that run of the mill sort of drama of a man who's struggling with this, is passionate about this, ends up with this. It's sort of like that. But once you get started, you can see that Patterson is a lot more than that. It is artsy, it is gorgeous, and it is just very, very, very inspiring. And the poems in this movie about what this dude is writing is purely amazing, and some of the tension of a dog being kidnapped, potentially, it just has a lot of things going for it. Patterson is guaranteed one of the most ballsy movies of the year. Mainly because if you hadn't have read the synopsis, it's pretty much about a bus driver and his life. And as you would have assumed, bus drivers are pretty boring and their lives are pretty bland. And this movie shows the life of a bus driver and his struggles and his poems and his inspirations. And it's pretty amazing. Adam Driver has the performance of his career, along with Jim Jarmusch, who has directed a ton of amazing movies. This is probably one of his best. Because this is a movie about a bus driver and his poems. I mean, and it really just kind of continues with him and his poems. You live his life throughout a week. And that is what this two-hour movie is about, is, is this guy's life summed up in a week. And the direction and the narrative and the cinematography and just some of the scenes are so well done that Patterson is one of the biggest surprises I, of this year and last year. Because after seeing the rave reviews for this, I was so excited and I was so just wanting a good drama and that's exactly what I got. Don't walk into this expecting, you know, a drama that's going to make you cry, it's going to make you inspired, it's going to make you want to stand up and clap, it's going to make you want to, you know, cry or whatever. It's not that type of drama, it's literally of this man's life and understanding that Every person has something going for them. It is an exceptional movie with amazing performances, even if its execution at some points may be a little rocky. And there is one point where it is probably one of the best scenes of the movie. It's where Adam Driver meets a little girl outside of the Patterson bus facility, and she literally has the same poem style, and he just completely falls in love with this little girl's poems. And she was in this just for that one scene. She was in there like on a Thursday. And I was kind of hoping that she would be there Monday through, you know, the next Monday. Because I feel like they could have built such a great relationship off of that spark. And since they have so many different things going on that are pretty much identical throughout each day with the twins and him talking to his coworkers and him honking at other buses, I just feel like that could really fit in. And I don't really understand why they just left it right there and then that was it and they did have some unintentional tension throughout the entire movie because there is a dog so if you're a dog owner you know this is gonna scare you but it's like they he leaves a dog outside of a bar every night and people always say you better be careful make sure that dog doesn't get abducted and then he leaves it outside of a bar like in an alley and every time I was just so distracted on the dog getting kidnapped dog napped or whatever over what was actually going on in the bar and I felt like that took away a ton but you know once it sort of fades to black you just kind of chill out and I don't really think that that should have been how I felt but it did so I guess that's an issue but other than those two pretty prominent things Patterson is an amazing movie it should have been nominated for Adam Driver and even Best Picture because this is a total Oscar movie. I don't see how they just kind of like skipped over it. It just goes to show that every person has something going for them. Everyone can have inspiration and the ending to this movie is totally heartbreaking and then it's beautiful and then it ends on such a perfect note because I really anticipated this movie to end on just such a stupid and sappy note but I guess the narrative really knew better than that because the structure and the character development obviously have to be amazing because there are two central characters. Adam Driver and his fiance wife, I'm not really sure. And it's just about her cupcakes and her guitars, and it just had, it really just brings you into their life and 
At some points, I forgot that I was watching a movie. I felt like I was watching a live footage of a bus driver and his wife just being inspired by each other and understanding that they love each other and Patterson just has so much going for it and I'm so happy that it executed that to perfection.